My name is Michael Lopez Alegria. I was born in Spain. My father is Spanish, my mother was uh, American, and uh, we moved to this country when I was about two. Uh, I went to the Naval Academy undergraduate, left there and went to flight training. I sort of reawakened the dream that I had had when I was younger, like a lot of kids, of being an astronaut. I mean, as a first-time flyer, this is quite an experience. You know, it's the ride of your life. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery, making shuttle history and building our future in space. It's quite a bit different when you're all unencumbered and floating. There's really nothing that I could uh, adequately say that would describe what this feels like. And this is what it looks like on the edge of the universe, as far as I could tell. It's quite a view. The um, terrain below, how would I say it? It's, it is an experience that makes you really appreciate what we have down there, that it's fragile, that we need to protect it. And uh, you feel very detached from it and sort of you miss it. It's, it's your home, it's uh, where all your loved ones are, where all of your experiences have happened. And you really get a sense of being separated from it in a way. So all of that is in the past. The future is commercial space flight. Back in the 1920s and 30s, only very, very wealthy people could fly. Now people get on an airplane to go to a birthday party. That's gonna happen in commercial human space flight. We wanna open it up so that I'm not the only person raising my hand in the room when we ask who's been to space. <laughs> 